Hey guys, so this is an examples video where I'm just going to be clearing fractions from linear equations. And if you've watched my lessons video, it's going to be problems with no parentheses. Now my lessons video, I really break this down. And in this video, I assume you kind of get it, but you want to see more examples. So if you are looking at to like go through the whole process at a slower pace, I recommend you watch the lessons video. So also notice these are problem types that don't have parentheses. Um, the types that do have parentheses, that's another examples video. I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of examples for you guys. So you can pause the video. You, you can actually just pause here and maybe quiz yourself if you like. Um, or if there's a specific one you want to see, you can fast forward to it. But I, I'm going to go ahead and get started with these. Okay, so starting with A, I've got 1 fifth X minus 1 third equals 2 thirds. So in the lesson video, I detail how the first thing that you really want to do is find the LCD of all the fractions, which in this case, the LCD would be 15. And then the next thing that you want to do is you want to multiply this by all the different terms or, or parts of the problem. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I've got 15 times 1 fifth X minus 15 times one third and then 15 times two thirds. And uh, let's see, I'll change this one to be green. Okay, so notice I really rewrote this problem, but I just multiplied the LCD of all the fractions um, by, by each term. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go piece by piece to figure out how this, this will cancel out. Because the whole point of this is that the, the denominator should, should drop out. So five goes into 15, how many times? Five goes into 15 three times, and then I multiply that together. So then notice I'm left with this three times one X. This is what I'm left with. So three times one X is gonna give me just three X. Okay, so I'm gonna write the minus sign here cause that's what comes next. So now how many times does three go into 15? Three goes into 15 five times. And then five times one is just five. So this is gonna be three X minus five. And now we go to the other side. So now we do this one more time. So now looking at this little cluster, three goes into 15, how many times? Three goes into 15, five times. And then I'm gonna take five times two, cause that's what's left over. Five times two is 10. So here's what I'm left with. And now this is what I have to solve. So I've got three X minus five equals 10. So I can add the five to each side. So I get three X equals 15. And then I'll divide each side by three to get X equals five. So there you go. Okay, so moving on to B here. So same idea. First, we gotta find the LCD of all fractions. Um, the LCD in this case is once again, so it's 15. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna multiply each part of this problem by 15. Now be careful when you do this. So I've got 15 times 1 third X minus 15 times one. This is one of the most commonly missed things. Everybody looks at this and thinks, oh, I just multiply it by the fractions, but it's all parts of the problem. So make sure you multiply even that one. And then, let's see, I'm gonna go plus 15 times 1 fifth X plus 15 times oops, 2 fifths. I'm running out of space here now. And let's see, let's see if I can cram all this in. Uh, I don't want to cram it in. I think I'll, I'll start another line. All of that equals, so now we'll do the other side of the equation, 15 times two fifths X plus 15 times one fifth. Okay, so now let's go through piece by piece and do our cancellations. So three goes into 15, how many times? Three goes into 15, five times. And so now I'm gonna do whatever's left over, whatever I didn't cancel out. Five times one X, that's five X. Start the line down here. Okay, now minus, so 15 times one is just 15, so I'm just gonna write that out. 
and then plus, then we move on to this little cluster here, 5 goes into 15 3 times, so we have 3 times that. So this is going to be 3 times 1x, so that's 3x. And then 5 goes into 15 3 times, and uh, 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, and so now moving on to the other side, so 5 goes into 15, so this one goes into 15 3 times, so notice I'm left with 3 times 2x, that's 6x, and then 5 goes into 15 3 times, and 3 times 1 is just 3. So there's the problem that I'm left with. So this is much more, I'd, I'd rather do this than this one, right? So that, that's kind of my own personal preference. So um, now I can go ahead and collect my like terms. So on this side, 5x and 3x is 8x. And then negative 15 plus 6, make sure you notice that this is, this is negative here. This is going to be minus 9 equals 6x plus 3. So I got to get the x to one side and the numbers to another. So I'll subtract off the 6x here. So I get 2x minus 9 equals 3. And then I will add 9 to each side. So I get 2x equals 12. Divide both sides by 2 and I get x equals 6. Okay, so moving on to this next one. So you can pause and, and, and read it over 1 4th x minus 1 10th plus 1 5th x minus 4 fifths equals 3 20th x plus 1 10th plus 3 tenths. So the LCD here is 20. And by the way, if you want to go through an example like this, like if you want to go through step by step, I highly recommend the lesson video because I, I kind of walk through that step by step. If you know kind of how I flowed in the, the lesson video, you, you can kind of guess how to pause these videos if you want to do it alongside me. Okay, so I've got 20 times 1 fourth x minus 20 times 1 tenth plus 20 times 1 fifth x minus 20 times 4 fifths and then all of that uh, so again I'm running out of room here so here's the equal sign I'll continue on with this side so now I've got 20 times 3 over 20 X plus 20 times 1 over 10 plus uh, let's see, 20 times 3 over 10. Actually, I guess I could have technically combined these, but it's fine if we don't. Um, so, okay, so let's go ahead and, and just do all our cancellations. So notice here, so 4 goes into 20 5 times, and then 5 times 1x is 5x. Okay. So moving on to this one here, so this will be minus. So 10 goes into 20 twice. And then the 2 times the 1 is 2. And then 5 goes into 20 four times. 5 goes into 20 four times. And then if I multiply those together, 4 times 1x is 4x. And then... 5 goes into 20 four times, and so then if I take 4 times 4, that's 16. 20 goes into 20 once, so then I've got 1 times 3x, so that's 3x. 10 goes into 20 twice. So that's just going to leave me with 2. And then 10 goes into 20 twice. And then 2 times 3 is going to leave me with 6. Okie dokie. So now 
I can collect my like terms. So I've got the 5x and the 4x, and then that's 9x. And then the negative 2 minus 16 will give me negative 18 on this side. And then on the other side, this will be 3x plus 8. Okay, so now I can subtract off the 3x, like so. So I've got 6x minus 18 equals 8. And then I can add 18 to both sides. So I get 6x equals uh, 26 and divide both sides by 6. Now, in this case, you do get a fractional answer. Now, if you're in my class, I'm fine with you leaving it as a mixed number or you as leaving it as an improper fraction, but some classes you might have to turn it into a mixed number. So just you want to reduce this though as much as you can. So notice you can divide the top and bottom by 2. So here, the final answer would be 13 over 3. Okay, and so now for the last one. Um, okay, so same idea. So I've got 3 halves x plus 1 third minus 1 half x equals 5 6 x minus 1 6 minus 2 thirds x plus 1 half. So in this case, my LCD is going to be 6. So I'm going to go ahead and set up all of the multiplication again. Okay, so now that I've got this all set up, let's go through this piece by piece. So starting with this first part here, so 2 goes into 6 three times, so I'll cancel those out. So I'm left with the 3 times 3x, so this will become 9x. And then the 3 goes into the 6 twice, so this will be 2 times 1, so that's just 2. And then minus... Uh, so let's see, 2 goes into the 6 three times, so I'm left with 3 times 1x, so that's 3x. And then on the other side, so 6 goes into 6 once, so then I'm left with 1 times 5x, and that's 5x. 6 goes into 6 once, so this is just going to be 1 times 1. And then 3 goes into the 6 twice, so this is going to be 2 times 2x, so that's 4x. And then 2 goes into 6 three times, so that's 3 times 1, so that's plus 3. Okay, so now uh, let's go ahead and work all of this out. So I've got uh, the 9 minus the 3x, so that's 6x plus 2 on this side. And then on the other side, this becomes x plus 2. And then I can subtract off the x from each side. So I've got, let's see, I'll come over here, 5x plus 2 equals 2. And then I can subtract the 2 from each side. So I get 5x equals 0. And if I divide both sides by 5, I get x equals 0. Okay, so that covers it for this set of examples, but if you wanted to see some examples that have parentheses, I have those videos as well, so you can definitely check those out. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.